Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my long-awaited AliExpress website review slash haul. I finally have everything that I've ordered from AliExpress and I'm going to be showing you guys everything and kind of reviewing it and reviewing the website and how I like it and yeah so I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna start with accessories. I only got one and I got this cute necklace. It's just a little moon. I like it. It seems like pretty good quality and it doesn't seem like it's gonna break so it's not like completely cheesy and cheap. I really like it. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's kind of dainty and I thought it was gonna be cheaper and I thought I was gonna turn my neck green but it did it so that's always good. Um, so yeah, this was the first thing I got. I'm going to try not to talk too long because this video I already feel like is going to be 15 minutes. Next we're going to go to makeup because I got a, a brushes as well as a eyeshadow palette. So these are all the brushes I got. I know it was, a, but I really only bought one individual brush. No, two individual brushes and a set. This was one of the individual brushes I got. I love this brush. It is so soft. I use this every day. It's my powder brush. And I love it. It's like a Real Techniques knockoff. It's not the real thing, but it feels exactly like the real thing, and it's great. The next single brush I got is the knockoff of the NARS one. Now, this one you can definitely tell is a knockoff because it sheds, and it's really hard. It's not as soft, and it's, I used it once, and it's already like not that soft anymore. So, but I could not, I, I just can't get myself to spend $55 on a NARS brush. So, I mean, this knockoff, it works, but it definitely sheds and it's not my favorite. I, it's better than spending 55 bucks on a brush. Next thing, okay, the rest of this is a brush set. So, all of these brushes came. I love these brushes. The only one negative is that some of them did this. <laughs> broke but I just glued it and they were fine. I didn't glue this one because I haven't really used this one. Um, but yes, so it came with face and eye brushes and I've been using them every day. They're super soft. I love all the quality. These haven't shed for me yet and so that's great. It came with like a huge set so I'm just going to go through the brushes. This I've been using as a blush brush. Super soft, good. It's a face brush. Next one I have not really been using but it's kind of like an angled flat shader brush. But all of these are super soft and pretty good quality. The only thing is that some of them broke apart, but I mean, they still work and they're still usable, especially if you just glue them together and it stayed fine. So yes, this is just like a round brush. This one I've been using a lot. I haven't used my Beauty Blender in actually a really long time because I've just been using my fingers and this brush recently because it's kind of like the angled brush. It's just like really good to get concealer. It's actually kind of better than the Beauty Blender just because I can be more precise with it when I use this because it's like angled and it's kind of like tight. I don't know. You guys can see it, but I really love this brush. I've been using it a lot. Flat shader, flat kabuki. I've been using this every day pretty much. All that's left is the eye brushes now. This one is kind of like a angled flat one. I haven't used this one at all, but this one's also really, really soft. There is this one. This one's also, it's not as sharp. I've been using this one a lot in my outer corner. This one is another flat top. I haven't really used this one. And I've used these two. This one I've used a lot. It's just a normal crease brush, and I've been using this in my whole crease a lot, as well as this when I want more precise. It's like this. It's like the big angle brush, just like a baby size. <laughs> Those are all the brushes I got. Overall, really happy with them. They are super soft, good quality. They haven't shed. The only thing is that the bottoms, like, came out um, from the brush, which is kind of bad, but if you glue them, they're fine. So, you know, saving money. I'm, it's worth buying glue rather than $50 brushes. Am I right, ladies? Now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow palettes. I went ham. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, but okay. But let me tell you, these prices, oh my goodness, literally, I don't think I purchased anything over $10 for everything. Like for everything total, it was like 80 or something, but I got a lot of stuff, <laughs> so. For example, this was like, I don't know the exact prices, but literally everything, like I got that brush set, I think for like eight bucks. I think I got this for like two. I think I got the Kabuki for two. And all of, okay, I got this Lorac Pro 2 knockoff palette with the unzipped palette. I got both of these together for I think eight dollars. So that's amazing. I got the Smashbox full exposure knockoff palette for like four. I got this one for about four, and then I got this blush palette for I think two. So like the prices are incredible. It de it's definitely not the same quality as if you were to spend money on the high end ones, but it it'll work. It'll do. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys this blush palette. It's not really branded or anything. It's just a big blush palette. Beautiful colors. The pigmentation it's pretty good pigmentation. Like 
it, 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 it's pretty good pigmentation. And I'm really happy that all of them came in good condition. That's another thing. Everything I got wasn't, nothing was broken, nothing was ripped. Everything was in like really good condition. So that was another positive. I love these. <laughs> and like I said, this was like two bucks. It was super cheap and awesome. All right, the next one, Smashbox Full Exposure. I had not a huge fan of this one. It pigmented, but the eyeshadows don't really last and they kind of flake away. So this one, definitely you need to buy the real one to get the actual color payoff and pigmentation. I mean, it like they really look like the real things. Um, but this one, you can definitely tell the difference. This is one of those cheapy ones you'd get from like Claire's. Um, so this one I'm not too crazy about. I mean, it's kind of pigmented, but not that much. And the, the colors kind of just powder off and they don't last. So this one I'm not a huge fan of, but the uh, I love the blush palette. Haven't really used this one. I'll just, I'll just go to the next one. Um, this is the Nudertude by the Bomb Cosmetics knockoff. Something I notice is when I rub, like the things kind of move. This one seems to be last longer it's not as pigmented i don't know i just haven't seemed to get a lot of use out of this but i also do really like this all right these two oh my gosh i love my, ever since i got the first lorac pro palette i loved it and yeah this was a steal like i said i got both of these for i think four or eight dollars i don't remember but two palettes for like that cost when both of them would be like maybe a hundred bucks this is the lorac unzipped palette. I love the colors in these. Like, I really do. And these are pigmented. I use these a lot. Like, these are so pigmented. It's beautiful. I just swatched this color. Like, they are gorgeous. They're soft and they last and these are great. So, both of these and I got these together, like I said, and they, both of these, I am obsessed and I, I use these so much since I've gotten them. And I've saved so much money getting these, so I'm super happy. So, these two, if, um, I'll try to find it, if I can link it, but I, these two, oh my gosh. This one, I can see maybe the real one being better, but this one, you can't beat. Let me show you. This is Lorac, Lorac Pro 2 palette knockoff. I am in love. This is legit like the real one. It looks like it. And the swatches are incredible. Like, this is all the colors. Amazing. Let me swatch Cocoa, which is this dark color, because you can really see the color payoff. Like, literally one finger, and it's like, boom. And let me show you guys. Like, do you see that? Oh my gosh, I am in love with this palette. I find that the shimmer shades definitely show up a little better than the matte shades, but still the pigmentation for them is great. These are legit, like, this palette is amazing. So now I'm going to go on to clothes. I only got three things. Actually, I got four things, but I only have three things because I don't know where the fourth one is. Is there a pattern here? <laughs> Okay, so the first one I got is this, like, bralette, crop top, lacy thing. Super cute. This one works well. It's, it's big enough. It covers everything, and it's great. So I definitely like this one, and I think this was $2. Like, everything here was, like, I think this was 4 The shorts were 4 and both of these were 2 So this is the other lacy thing I got. These, this is a little small than I was expected, like, I did a photo shoot in this with my friends. If you go on my Instagram, guys, always below, um, you'll see me wearing this. And it's super cute, and I love how the neck goes high and it's lacy down. But something I found is my underboob tries to pop out sometimes when I'm wearing this. I had to crop a few pictures from that photo shoot. <laughs> my friends know it was funny. They were like, underboob. I was like, Ugh. This one was definitely a little smaller. That's the one bad thing is because you can't try it on, so it's kind of hard when you're ordering online from other countries because you never know their sizing is different. A lot of times they say like size charts and stuff, but this one just turned out to be a little smaller. I've still worn it and stuff. Like you guys, have, if you see my Instagram, you guys would know I still wear it. Super cute. This one fits me really well, and then this one's a little small, but it, it still works. The other one I got, it's like this. There, it's white and it's it's this color. And it's just, uh, it's kind of like a sports bra, but it's loose. And it's this lace, like, the whole thing. So it's really pretty. I like wearing it as a beach kind of cover-up. I'll just tie a knot because it's a little big. So that's the thing. Like, you never know if it's going to be too small or too big. These shorts were kind of small. So clothes are definitely hit or miss with AliExpress because the sizing is different. And you just, it's, you'll just never know. Everything I've gotten, I've been able to wear. But... 
I just have to make it work like this one I just have to pull it down a lot and adjust it and with the other shirt that I don't have I just have to tie it in a knot and it's literally the cutest thing and it even looks kind of cuter with it the, the knot tied in the back and it's adorable just lace shorts something I find is that I'm not really a huge fan of how the lace things and these are definitely tight like these are tight and they're not as high-waisted as I thought I won't really get use out of these but they're super cute and I love the pattern and everything and the whiteness of them because I was gonna wear this with this which would be super cute because that's what I saw. That's why I got these shorts. I saw these two paired together and they were really cute. But these are kind of tight and they're really fitted and they don't really look right on me and my body style. So I won't really get use out of these. But then again, once again, it was like four bucks. So not going to be too distraught about it. <laughs> that is everything I got clothing wise. Now I'm going to do bikinis. This is it. This is the last part of this haul slash review. So the first bikini I got is a Victoria's Secret knockoff. This is what it looks like. If you guys watched my Cancun video, this is the bathing suit I was wearing when I was swimming with the dolphins when these bottoms came untied and I was kind of free balling in the dolphin area. Woo! These are super cute. Like the quality is good. It's not cheesy. This fit really well. Both of these are small. It, this one has padding <laughs> for sure because I am a part of the itty bitty titty committee. That's what it is. I always forget it, but I am part of the itty bitty titty committee. So, you know, a little help here and there is not going to hurt. Um, but, yeah, I really love the colors of this. I feel like when I tan, it looks really good. And I love this baby blue color on me. I just feel like it works with my skin tone. So, I really like this. The quality is awesome. It works really well. It's not, like, falling apart. It's great quality. And it looks exactly like the Victoria's Secret one because it has the holes here and the double colors. And I just think it's great. So, I love their bikinis. I have no problem with any of their bikinis, really. The next one, this is one of my favorites. This is a triangle knockoff. Because those triangle bikinis are like $100 for one of them, and I don't have money for that. So, you know, us girls gotta get the knockoff. So, this one is the most closest to the actual triangle bikinis that from the research I've done, I've never seen an actual triangle bikini because I don't have money for that. But, um, yes, this is the closest uh, style-wise as well as material. This is the neoprene material. Like, like the, this is the actual thing. I love this. If you go on my Instagram, once again, you can see pictures of me wearing these super cute it looks like an actual triangle bikini like you would never know the difference um i really like this one because it has the clasp you just clasp it and it's good and it'll stay i haven't had any problems with this i'm not a huge fan of the material even though this is which is why i'm glad i didn't spend a hundred dollars on one of the legit triangle bikinis because i'm not a huge fan of the material it's not even just like the bathing suit in general I love but just the material I'm not a big fan of whether it was an expensive one or a knockoff because I find these filled with water these are the bottoms they're super cute they're really flattering they make my butt look good and I love this royal blue color I love blues on my skin tone I don't know why I just really do and I feel like they make my eyes my blue green eyes pop these fill with water and like I find that if I get out of the water too fast they will fill with water and like come down and I was consistently pulling them up so maybe for like a tanning day or something I would recommend this um, I've definitely worn it a lot and it's super cute, but it does fill with water and it can kind of bunch because you can see this is the neoprene material. Otherwise, I love this bikini. It's super cute and I'm obsessed with it. Next one, this is another knockoff triangle bikini that I got. Actually, I'll stick with this one. Um, this is my other neoprene bikini. This is the actual neoprene, but this one I haven't worn because I'm not a huge fan of the colors. I just don't know if I'd be able to pull it off, honestly. Um, it's really out there. It doesn't look like how it did on the website. That's one negative about this. And it, this has the neoprene material. But uh, also I'm not a huge fan of this because of the clip. It's not a clasp. It's this weird like thing where you have to do this and then pull it. Now I find that this, these clips do work but they're a little more cheesy and cheap. And so I feel like I'm just going to be free balling. Or I feel like they're going to unclasp in the middle of while I'm in the ocean. Woo! And where that goes. These are the bottoms. So I don't know, I don't know if I could pull this off. Give this a thumbs up if you think I could pull this off. It's like, no, people are gonna thumbs down and then I'm gonna be really sad. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know, I might be able to wear it. I'm just so scared. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll go out of my comfort zone when I go to the beach August 1st through 8th at Bethany Beach. So if you're there, hit me up. This is my last triangle kind of bikini knockoff that I got. Except this one is not the neoprene material. This is an actual like bathing suit. It's like this one. So it's a normal bathing suit kind of texture of the fabric and stuff. This one is also push up. Yeah. This, the one negative about this I find is that the straps kind of don't stay on. They 
have like slots and I wear them with the straps because this would like fall off of me if I didn't. But the straps come undone very easily so it's kind of annoying but I love this bikini. It is so cute. It was cheap and great. So I love this. This also has the weird clasp but I have worn this. I wore this in Cancun. I've worn this in Ocean City. I've worn this a lot and this clasp has not come undone yet so it's also the weird like clasp like this and it hasn't come undone so I'm pretty impressed with that. I love this bikini. It's super cute. I love the, like I said the blue color um, and then these are the bottoms. I love the reason I wear this one more is because the bottoms are normal and they're like a normal bathing suit bottom so they stay on me and they don't like fill with water and fall off. I would definitely say I wear this one more just simply because I really like the color one and second because it's the normal material of a bathing suit and so it doesn't fill up with water and fall off of me. So that is everything. I am out of breath. This is going to be a long video. I'm so sorry, but I hope it's interesting. So you guys, I tried to get a range of different things like the makeup, the brushes, swimsuits as well as some clothing and accessories i got that one necklace so i hope i tried to give you guys a variety so you guys can see they sell everything on this website i literally have another 84 dollars cart that i have stuff i want to get but i'm saving money um to get another camera i really hope you guys enjoyed this video what i can say about the website really easy to kind of navigate i mean they literally have everything they have electronic stuff they have anything from makeup to clothes to accessories to curling irons they have literally have everything they're kind of like a amazon not really an amazon because they're more like clothing and stuff but they also do have a lot of other they have a good variety i guess that's a good way to sum it up the one thing that's kind of difficult is that it's shipping from other countries so if you want this in like two days i would not recommend using aliexpress because it takes time to get it because you're getting them from like china and foreign places. I think the longest took like a month and I that was this bikini. It like took forever and I didn't know if it was going to get here and I was like oh my god did I just get scammed buying three bikinis I'm never going to get. But just give it time, be patient. It's kind of also hard to track them which is kind of worrisome but if you just, the more you buy from them and if you get them in good condition the more you learn to trust them so that's why I do. I think AliExpress is a good website. I plan on using it a lot more because it's very good knockoff and kind of cheap stuff without being bad quality so and it's honestly hit or miss i love all the brushes i got i love pretty much all of the makeup palettes i got all the clothes i got all the swimsuits i love and yeah so i definitely recommend aliexpress as a final kind of comment <laughs> i definitely recommend them just wait or order early like if you're going on a vacation in august i would recommend ordering in like the beginning of july give it time to ship and get here and you're just gonna have to look out for it in the mail because the shipping is kind of weird and but yeah i out of overall i would give this rating like a 9.5 out of 10 rating for the website this is not sponsored at all by the way i just felt like I got so much stuff from it I kind of wanted to showcase it and kind of review it because I know not a lot of people know about AliExpress so I want to kind of spread the word because I really like it because literally like I got all of this stuff for a reasonable price I recommend it okay I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like this video is gonna be so long and I'm so sorry but I really hope you guys enjoyed it that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one I love you bye